Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Environment and Energy. Minister, last week I was pleased to welcome you to Indi to meet with communities embracing renewable energy, pumped hydro and battery storage. And you noted there's a dramatic transformation that's taking place in Australia's energy system, a once-in-a-lifetime transformation as we move into the world of microgrids, demand management, rooftop solar, pumped hydro and battery storage. Minister, would you agree that partnerships that upskill communities and build capacity can help deliver affordable, reliable and secure energy? And can the minister please outline to the House how microgrids will provide energy stability under the government's national energy guarantee? The Minister for the Environment and Energy. <laughs> thank you, Mr Speaker. And I thank the member for Indi for a question. And it was a real pleasure to join her and the local communities in her electorate last week, and including meeting representatives from Audrey, uh, Aubrey Wodronga, from Beechworth, from Benalla, from Wangaratta, and from Yakandanda, Mr. Speaker. And in Yakandanda, Mr. Speaker, the local community is, has put in place a 90 kilowatt solar system that will save $1 million over the life of that project for the community. And we also went to the Winton Wetlands, where they're looking at a 10 megawatt solar project, Mr. Speaker. And these are local communities who are taking responsibility for their own power generation. In doing so, are reducing their power bills and helping Australia transition to a cleaner energy future. And as the member rightly says, we are going through a once-in-a-century transition in our energy system, for, to, from a centralised system with traditional synchronous sources of generation to one where much more distributed generation and microgrids and renewables and storage, Mr Speaker. And we are helping through the Australian Renewable Energy Agency to support the rollout of these projects. And while I was in Indi, I spoke about the $12.5 million funding round that the Australian Renewable Energy Agency has announced, where it will support pilot projects in local communities like those in Indi that bring together renewables and storage, and it could be batteries or it could be, as they're looking at in this community, pumped hydro storage, inverters and other um, smart control systems, Mr Speaker, and other projects that the Turnbull government and the Australian Renewable Energy Agency continue to support, including the Garden Island microgrid, which brings together wave energy and storage and, in, and solar in Western Australia, in Cooperpedi in South Australia, again, wind, solar, batteries and re reducing the reliance on diesels. And then the Lakeland uh, storage and solar project in northern Queensland, Mr Speaker, the member for Leichhardt's electorate, which is a 10 megawatt solar project and 1.4 megawatt hour battery uh, project, Mr Speaker. And all this is coming together under the National Energy Guarantee, the recommendation from the Independent Energy Security Board, which is a key opportunity that we cannot let pass to properly integrate <coughs> energy and climate policy to ensure a more reliable and affordable system. And Australian households will be $300 a year better off under the National Energy Guarantee than they would be under the Labor Party's plan. So, Mr Speaker, under the Turnbull coalition government, we are delivering microgrids, we are delivering storage, we are delivering renewables, but most of all, we are ensuring a transition to a more affordable and reliable energy system for those people in Indi and beyond. 